The night was a haze of dimmed lights and fading music, the remnants of a club's heartbeat. It was 2003, and the world was different lighter, freer, and yet somehow more complicated. Nina sat at the bar, nursing a drink, her mind lost somewhere between the crowded, pulsing dance floor and the distant ringing in her ears. She wasn't looking for anything tonight. She never did. But the city had its way of pulling you into its vortex, and before she knew it, she was locked in a conversation with a stranger. He was tall, maybe a bit too lean for his own good, with dark, almost too intense eyes. His smile was easy, but his presence. It lingered. His name was Evan, or so he said, though it hardly mattered. People were often a collection of brief encounters, names that didn't stick. But Evan's voice did low and steady, a contrast to the chaos surrounding them. They talked. About everything and nothing. The usual first meeting nonsense, laced with laughter and half-hearted flirtations. But there was something there. Something that twisted in Nina's chest, something she wasn't used to. She wasn't the type to fall for the charm of strangers. But tonight, the music was right, the mood was right, and she was. Distracted. B. And then the kiss happened. The kind of kiss that shouldn't have meant anything but did. It was messy, rushed, but it was also exactly what Nina needed. He wasn't just some random guy anymore. He was the guy who could pull her out of her head, even if only for a few moments. The rest of the night passed in a blur. A room at a nearby hotel. The kind of place that had clean white sheets and generic art on the walls. But none of that mattered. What mattered was the rawness between them the silent agreement to let go of the world for just a little while. When morning came, Nina was already awake, staring at the ceiling, listening to the sounds of the city creeping through the window. Evan was still asleep beside her, his arm draped over her waist, his breath slow and steady. She considered leaving. She always did, after nights like these. The lingering sense of awkwardness that came with morning after silences. But something stopped her. Maybe it was the way his hand rested on her, or the quiet vulnerability in his posture. Maybe it was the feeling that something unspoken had shifted between them, something they weren't quite ready to face. It wasn't supposed to be anything more. She wasn't supposed to stay. But when she tried to slip out from under his arm, Evan stirred. His eyes opened slowly, bleary and unsteady. For a moment, neither of them said anything. And then he spoke, his voice still thick with sleep. You're not leaving, are you? Nina froze. She hadn't expected the question, hadn't expected him to even care. The truth was, neither of them had expected anything from this night. But there it was, hanging in the air, an invitation to something they hadn't planned for. I was Nina replied, half smiling, but I guess not now. The words lingered between them, the silence stretching into something more. Neither of them knew what would come next. Neither of them had intended to start anything, and yet, here they were stuck in the middle of a story they hadn't meant to write. Days passed, and Nina couldn't shake the memory of the night with Evan. She didn't even have his number. She had left the hotel before he woke up, walking out into the cold morning air with nothing but the memory of his touch lingering on her skin. She told herself it was just a one-night thing. She wasn't the type to fall into the cycle of what-ifs, but when her phone buzzed on a Wednesday afternoon she couldn't help but hope. It was a text from an unknown number. Hey, it's Evan. I don't normally do this, but I was wondering if you wanted to grab a coffee sometime. It took her a few moments to decide how to respond. She'd told herself she wouldn't get caught up in something that was never meant to be. But the truth was, the idea of seeing him again was far more tempting than she cared to admit. A few minutes later, she replied, her fingers typing a simple, sure. The first coffee date felt like a slow-motion replay of the night they met. They talked, laughed, and tried to pretend that nothing had changed. But something had. There was a quiet tension between them, something that neither of them had expected to feel. They didn't dive into heavy topics. They didn't talk about the night they'd spent together. But there was a shared understanding that, somehow, this wasn't over yet. They could pretend all they wanted, but the spark between them was undeniable. As the weeks passed, Nina found herself thinking about Evan more and more. They met for lunch, for drinks, sometimes just for a walk. The small things started to matter the way his smile lit up when he saw her,
the way he listened to her without interrupting, the way their conversations could flow effortlessly, and sometimes, awkwardly, into silence. It wasn't perfect. They didn't instantly become something more than what they were two people who happened to cross paths in the middle of a chaotic night. But there was something there, something more than just the initial attraction. And that scared Nina. She had always prided herself on her independence, on her ability to be alone without feeling lonely. But Evan, he was a different kind of presence. He wasn't demanding, yet he pulled her in. And for the first time in a long while, Nina wasn't sure whether to push him away or let herself fall deeper into something she didn't know how to handle. Nina had never been one to chase love. It had always come naturally, or not at all. But with Evan, it was different. They were constantly at odds, trying to figure out what they were, what they meant to each other. It was never clear-cut. There were days when they could talk for hours, laughing and joking, feeling like everything was easy. And then, there were days when they barely spoke, when the silence between them was filled with unspoken questions, unvoiced insecurities. I can keep building on this story, exploring how the relationship between Nina and Evan grows, the challenges they face, and the emotional roller coaster of being in a situation where a one-night stand unexpectedly blossoms into something more. If you're happy with the beginning, I can continue in this way, eventually reaching the full length you're asking for. Weeks blended into months. What had started as an unexpected encounter, a brief, messy kiss followed by an impromptu coffee date had slowly morphed into something more intricate. Neither Nina nor Evan had intended for it to happen. After all, it wasn't supposed to be serious, right? There were two people who happened to share a moment, and that was supposed to be the end of it. But somehow, the threads of their connection had woven themselves into something neither could easily untangle. The first time Nina truly realized she was in deeper than she thought was the day she almost called him when she got home from work. It wasn't for anything important she just missed hearing his voice. It wasn't an earth-shattering feeling, but it was there, like a subtle shift in the landscape of her heart. That day, she felt a strange longing, a pull she hadn't anticipated. Evan had his own realizations. He had been so certain that Nina was just another fleeting moment, another story that would fade out of memory with time. But the more he spent time with her, the more he realized he didn't want it to fade. It was subtle at first finding himself texting her randomly, not for any reason other than to hear her thoughts on whatever pop culture tidbit had caught his attention or to share a funny video. It was almost a relief, these small gestures, because they didn't have to mean anything heavy. They could just exist as they were simple, easy, and real. But soon, those small gestures began to accumulate, and so did their conversations. One evening, as they were sitting on the roof of his apartment building, sharing a bottle of cheap wine and watching the city lights twinkle below them, Evan realized the truth. I think I like you more than I expected, he said, his voice tentative, almost uncertain. Nina turned to him, her brow furrowing. She hadn't been expecting him to say that. What do you mean by that? Evan took a slow breath, his eyes meeting hers. I don't know. I never thought. I never thought I'd end up caring about someone like this, especially after one night. But here I am. And it's not just about the sex, Nina. It's everything else. It's the way you make me feel like I'm not just a random guy in your life. Nina's heart skipped a beat. She didn't know what to say, because a part of her had been waiting for him to say something like this, but now that it was out in the open, it felt real, scary. It was one thing to feel something, but another to have it put into words. She took a deep breath and looked away, trying to find the right words. I, I wasn't sure about us. I mean, I didn't expect this either. Evan reached out, touching her hand gently. But you feel it too, right? That's something between us. Nina hesitated, then nodded, her voice quiet. Yeah, I do. And in that moment, they both realized something fundamental, that what had started as a one-night stand had shifted into something that neither of them fully understood, but both wanted to explore. They weren't just two strangers anymore. They were two people trying to figure out how to make something real out of an unexpected connection. Things weren't always smooth sailing, of course. Relationships, especially the ones that started in a blur of impulsive attraction, often had their complications. Nina, more than Evan, 
found herself struggling with what this relationship really meant. She had built her life around being independent, not needing anyone to complete her. So when Evan started to weave himself into her routine, she couldn't help but question it. Do you think this is real? Nina asked one evening, sitting on the edge of her bed while Evan was getting ready to leave her apartment. The question had been building in her for days, but she had been too afraid to ask it. Evan stopped mid-motion, glancing at her with a raised eyebrow. What do you mean? I mean, she said, taking a deep breath. <laughs> we started this as a one-night thing, and now it's, well, it's not a one-night thing anymore. So, is this real, or are we just making it up as we go? Evan's expression softened. I don't know, Nina. I think we're both figuring it out. But I do know this. I want to see where it goes. You? Nina hesitated, her gaze on the floor. She wanted to say yes, but the uncertainty lingered like a cloud. She had never been the type to dive headfirst into something without thinking it through. And this was big. I want to, she finally said, though her voice wavered slightly. But it's scary. I've been doing just fine on my own, you know. I get it, Evan said, sitting down beside her on the bed. But maybe it's time we both stop running from something that feels real. As much as they both tried to fight it, their connection grew stronger with every passing day. They spent more time together, not just on dates, but in the mundane moments that made a relationship feel grounded. Mornings were spent over coffee, afternoons in random adventures around the city, and nights curled up watching bad movies, laughing at the absurdity of them. These simple things were what began to tie them together. But just as they were beginning to find their rhythm, life threw a curveball. Nina's job was undergoing massive changes, cutbacks, layoffs, and an influx of new management. The pressure started to mount, and she found herself retreating into herself, pulling away from the one person who had been a constant source of comfort. Evan noticed the shift immediately. He could see the stress in her eyes, the way she started spending more time alone, her calls becoming less frequent. But he didn't know how to help. Every time he tried to reach out, she pulled back. I'm fine. Nina would say, brushing off his concerns. Really, I just need some space. But Evan wasn't fooled. He knew that something deeper was at play. He had his own insecurities, but he tried not to let them show. Still, the distance between them began to grow, and it was the first real test of their connection. As she stood up and went over to a framed portrait for the second time, Evan showed up and when Nina answered the door, staring at the phone. Evan showed up at her apartment. The door was slightly ajar and when he pushed it open, he found her sitting at the kitchen table, staring at a pile of papers that seemed to weigh down everything in the room. Hey, he said quietly, leaning against the doorframe. You okay? Nina didn't look up immediately. Her shoulders were hunched, and she looked exhausted, both mentally and physically. After a long pause, she finally spoke, her voice barely above a whisper. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, Evan. I feel like I'm falling apart. Evan walked over and sat next to her, placing a hand on hers. You're not alone in this, Nina. We can figure it out together. You don't have to carry all of this by yourself. For the first time in weeks, Nina let herself lean into him, her head resting against his shoulder. I'm scared, she admitted, her voice breaking slightly. I'm scared that if I let go, I'll lose control of everything. But I'm also scared that if I keep pushing you away, I lose you. Evan gently squeezed her hand. You won't lose me, Nina. Not like that. And in that moment, Nina realized that no matter how complicated life became, some connections were strong enough to survive the chaos. She didn't have to figure everything out on her own. 
And maybe, just maybe, it was time to stop being afraid of what could be. I can continue this storyline as it unfolds delving deeper into their emotional journeys, exploring the challenges of building a relationship from something that started off as a fleeting moment, and showing how they evolve. Would you like me to continue in the same vein? Sure. Let's wrap up this story with a meaningful conclusion, staying true to the evolving relationship between Nina and Evan, and giving them the closure that feels earned. It was a chilly evening in late fall when Nina stood in front of her apartment, holding a small box. She hadn't planned to leave the city, or at least, not permanently. But life had a way of pushing you in directions you didn't expect. Her job had offered her a transfer to a branch in another city, a fresh start, and she had accepted it. Her phone buzzed in her pocket, and Nina pulled it out, seeing a message from Evan. She read it again and smiled softly. The last few weeks had been a whirlwind her move, the chaos of her life settling into a new rhythm, but through it all, Evan had been by her side. He had been her steady anchor when things felt unmoored. They had come a long way since that first night in the hotel room, where neither of them expected anything more than a fleeting connection. And now, it felt like they were facing something bigger than either of them had imagined. There was a knock on the door, and Nina opened it to find Evan standing in the hallway, looking slightly out of breath, holding a cup of coffee in his hand. The same warm smile she'd come to know over the past several months softened his features. I thought you might need one last coffee before you go, he said, holding it out to her. Thanks, Nina said, taking the cup, though it felt like the gesture was more than just coffee. It was a symbol of everything they had shared, of all the small moments that had woven them together. They stood there in silence for a few moments, both unsure of what to say, both knowing that this moment was the culmination of something larger than the both of them. I didn't think it would be this hard, Nina said, her voice tight, her gaze fixed on the cup in her hands. Evan took a step closer, his hand gently brushing against hers. You don't have to do this, you know, he said softly. You don't have to leave if you're not ready. Nina shook her head, looking up at him with a bittersweet smile. It's not that simple. I've worked so hard to get to this point in my career, Evan. I can't just throw it all away because of, because of us. She paused, trying to hold back the emotions threatening to rise. But it's hard. I've never, I've never had someone like you in my life before. Evan nodded slowly, understanding the weight of her words. I get it. But that doesn't mean we have to stop. You don't have to leave everything behind. I'm not going anywhere, Nina. If you want me in your life, I'll be there. I'm not asking you to choose between your career and me. I'm asking you to take a chance on us no matter where you are. No matter what your life looks like. Nina's heart beat faster, a mix of confusion and clarity all at once. For months, she had been running from the idea that something more could come from their connection. She had tried to convince herself that she wasn't the type to settle down, that she didn't need someone else to complete her life. But in this moment, she realized something else that maybe she wasn't the person who needed to be alone anymore. Maybe it was okay to want something more, something real. She set the cup of coffee on the table and took a step toward him, her hands reaching for his. I'm scared, she admitted. Scared of how big this could get. Scared of what it means for my life. I'm scared too, Evan said, his voice steady but his eyes soft with understanding. But I'm willing to be scared with you, Nina, if you'll let me. Nina smiled through the lump in her throat. She didn't know exactly what the future held did anyone. But she knew that Evan was right. Life was unpredictable, and love was even more so. But maybe that was the beauty of it. Taking risks, facing the unknown together, and trusting that whatever happened, they'd figure it out. She leaned in then, pressing her lips to his in a kiss that felt like the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. When they pulled apart, she looked into his eyes, feeling the warmth of his gaze seep into her. Okay, she said quietly. Let's see where this goes. Together.